Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is the legend, the leader himself, Zatashi Namakaze, coming back to you with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a video, just like the title and thumbnail suggest. What if Ichigo became a sleeper early? Now, I wasn't really thinking of doing this type of what if, because it seems to sort of uninteresting on my part, but then I started to think about it more and more, and I became more intrigued. And with that being said, before we get into the video, I'd just like to say a few things. Like, guys, join the Discord if, you know, you want to just chat with the, you know, with the crew. If you want to chat with the clan, uh, join the Discord, you know what I'm saying? You know, we have a really good time, you know what I'm saying? And please follow me on TikTok or on Instagram in case I'm not posting on YouTube. I'm probably posting, like, short gaming clips or my new intros or intros I do for other people. I'm probably going to post it. On those two social medias and also um, the link to my voice recording editing platform and my thumbnail making platform all of all those all three of those are gonna be down in the description so go check it out and with that being said let's get right into the video this is your last one and I kind of see go Okay, for this story to work, Ichigo's mom will also have to be like an ex Soul Reaper, like his dad. The reason for this is because that'll cause a dominant effect on Ichigo to have high levels of spiritual pressure. A result of this will be Ichigo gaining Soul Reaper powers from an extremely young age. And the Zanpakuto he will have is of course our boy Tetsuzan Getsu. Now Ishin, which is Ichigo's dad, being shocked but concerned about Ichigo, you know, well-being, decides to go to Urahara for a device that can conceal Ichigo's, you know, spiritual energy, so that Ichigo can live a safe life without Hollows trying to eat him. Now, going to this perspective of Ichigo, who is now nine years old, he is at his daily karate class, and it's time for dismissal. Ichigo's mom comes to pick up Ichigo and go home. Now, on their way home, the air around them starts to blur and soon becomes a very thickened mist. Now, Ichigo and his mom especially started to grow uneasy and soon Ichigo's mom felt the spiritual pressure of a hollow. Not just any hollow, no, no, no. The Grand Fisher. Ichigo is then pushed aside to safety as his mom is eaten. As Ichigo feels as if time is slowed down at this very moment, something inside of him starts to burst. And throughout the whole spiritual pressure, destroying the device that was made to conceal it. It starts to create a white being that resembles Ichigo. This being fuses with Ichigo, giving Ichigo a form that resembles that of a Vasto Lordi that we see in Waco Mundo during his battle with Okiwara in the canon timeline. And during this transformation, his spiritual pressure is soaring to unimaginable heights. All of the surrounding hollows begin to gather around Ichigo, ready to kill him. But instead, in a flash of red and black colored spiritual pressure, all of the hollows were then incinerated into dust, and soon no trace of them were left. But as Ichigo, who is now still enraged, even after destroying his mother's killer, he then gets knocked out by an old man with long beard and a white cape saying squad one we then skip forward one week Ichigo is 
Now waking up from being conscious for this, you know, week. Where am I? Ichigo asked, confused. You're in the Soul Society, says a concerned Isane. Which, if you guys don't know, Isane is the lieutenant of Retsu. So, of course, Ichigo, now remembering how his mom died, and now he's in a strange place with strange people, without any of his family members. So, as Ichigo comes to this realization, he then starts to cry. Cry for his mother. Cries for his father. Cries for his two little sisters. Cries in general due to the situation. You know, considering the situation he's in, he just starts to just cry. Now, Isane, getting a bit panicked because of this, tries her best to calm down the crying Ichigo, but to no avail. So she tries to cheer him up by showing him a trick. She nervously says, Please stop crying or I won't be able to show you this cool trick. Ichigo hearing this in a bit, you know, intrigued on what she just said, he starts to calm down. Isane seeing this as an opportunity to calm down says, Okay, now watch carefully because I'm going to make an ice flower. In 3, 2, 1, Hot 157, Icicle Creation. After, you know, she does this, Ichigo is astonished and can't believe his eyes. He quickly says thank you to Isane for helping him calm down and rationalize on his situation. Ichigo then asks, what is your name? She smiles and says, my name is Isane, Isane Kotetsu. We skip forward three hours of Ichigo growing more and more closer to Isane. But then, the head captain, the head captain Yamamoto, enters the room. Now quickly, the air thickens and tense, and everyone is now tensed to the point where Isani, Isani, who is a soul reaper for many years, can't even breathe normally. And this is, you know, due to the immense spiritual pressure both Ichigo and Yamamoto are letting off. And you know, Isani is a bit astonished because, you know, Ichigo is not even batting an eye and instead is increasing his spiritual pressure. But then, before Ichigo can say a word and, you know, start to argue with him, Yamamoto breaks the tension, stating, Young man, on no more conditions, you would be killed right here, right now, on the spot. But since an old comrade of mine got his own got on his own knees and begged for your life to be spared. And that man is your father, Isin Kurosaki. But there's one condition. You'll become a soul reaper. Now, I hope you guys like this part. Don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, join the Discord. Like, the links down, like, the links to my Skype, if you, you know, want to do a collab or just need an intro. The link to my Skype and if you want to chat to the crew just all the links to many things are going to be down in the description and also give some credit to my editor for you know being able to edit this video and all you know shout outs to Henjon Namikaze yes new Namikaze clan member I guess well not the newest but you know just shout outs to him for editing this video and also guys I won't really be posting on Thursday or Friday the reason for Thursday is because Thursday is you know my B day, oh yeah. And it's Friday's cause it's right after and I might as well be working on stuff. Now, real quick guys, please help me reach my subscriber goal of 100 subs before June 20th, which is the end of the school year. So please guys help me reach that goal. And the like goal for this video is five likes. I just wanna, you know, test the waters with this. And see how you guys like it. So please reach 5 likes if you want another part. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Look at all these diamonds on my neck, bitch, they all shine. Looking at my jewelry for too long, you might go blind. I could put a bag on your head.